and recording. Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Ghostbusters. It is I, Leo Hightower. It's time to get back to this game. In the last episode, we took on the apartment complex, which was being full overrun with water and ice, and the cause of it was a snowman ghost of all things. We took care of that ghost, and now it's time to move on to the next stage. But first things first, let me see if I need to stock up on items, and no I do not. But in the last episode, as I was saying before, uh, we took on the apartment complex which was overflowing with water and ice. And the cause of it was, of course, the, a snowman ghost of all things. After defeating the snowman ghost, we got the second piece of the stone tablet. Only two more to go, if I'm right. But anyway, let's get started with this episode. And the sun is setting in the distance. We have two stages left, the woody house and the high-rise apartment. We are going to our next destination, the Woody House. A part of my house burst into flames. My wife was seriously hurt and had to go into the hospital. Besides that, the flames couldn't be put out with water. There's no mistake about it. It's the work of a ghost. I'm asking you all, please, to save my family, home and family. We've got everything you said down, no problem. So it's time to get down to business. We'll save your house. Third case. Woody House, two ghosts to take on. Welcome to the Woody House. This is the third stage, and as you can see, we can't see diddly squat and everything. There is no light whatsoever, unless of course you move around. But, if we equip the infrared scope, we can see everything. And much like the name applies, this stage is full of fire, basically. As the man said before, a part of his house suddenly burst into flames, and the fire couldn't even be put out with water. These little fire guinea pigs can be taken out no problem, but this blue one cannot be unfortunately damaged. No matter how many times you shoot that blue one, it's not going to die. So your best option is to just avoid the blue ones. If you do shoot them, they will have They'll eventually turn back into the little blue fire, but you can't destroy the blue one, so just ignore the blue, uh, blue ghost, fire ghost, anyway. I personally find the music for the stage to be interesting. It's very tense, and at the same time, it's also very, very hot. There are plenty of fire retardant ghosts in this stage, like those fire guinea pigs, and there are also fire columns, so you have to watch out and out. Shoot the safe up here, and we get more money. And unfortunately, my infrared goggles are getting low. And I wish that was a health pickup, but anyway, what I want to do is climb up here. I gotta de equip that one and re equip a new one. I think in hard mode, they last a little bit less longer. Go in here. What's coming up next? Equip the three-way shot because we have our first encounter. And it's a giant fire dragon. The fire dragon won't hit you, hit you when you're too close. Well, ah, I can't speak. But anyway, the fire dragon shoots out scorching flames and you gotta move away from it, basically. His weak point is his head, basically. And you want to aim for his head. But you also gotta watch out for the fire that the, that the monster spits out. He has a pretty simple attack pattern and everything, but it's just the fire you gotta watch out for. There's really nothing to this boss right here. Whoa! I do love the colors that this dragon changes whenever he gets weaker. And I'm dead. Dang it! And his fire does get longer the more damage he's taken. Anyway, Ghost is out, so let's try and capture the bad boy. Come on, baby, come on. Thank you! Ghost captured! Ha <laughs> Still got it. Anyway, that takes care of our first boss, which was the dragon, so now we need to move on. One ghost down, another to go. Oh! Not the direction I need to go. Down below, there's nothing but fire, so you gotta be careful. 
jumping and movement and jumping is very important in this game. I apologize if it doesn't sound like my commentary is all that good, you guys. I apologize. Uh, maybe I should just do these scripted or something, but then again, that loses the magic touch of the, uh, hey, it's been a while since I've seen this ghost. What'd you say? I don't know. I think he's outside. I have to talk to my aunt real quick. <laughs> anyway, crawl down through here, and drop down through here. Got another safe. More money in that safe. Watch out for the fire. Whoa. Go down here. Watch out for the fire pillars. Time your jumps carefully. Destroy these flying ghosts. Step through here. Watch out for the fire. Watch out for these flying ghosts. My goggles are going out again. Slimer. Thank you. Climb down here. If you step through that door, you'll be back out at the entrance, and that's where you don't want to go. Anyway, our next... We have to go past this part right here. And jump over these fire columns. And every once in a while, they'll spread out little fire ghosts for you to shoot. Ow! Just gotta time your jumps carefully and wait for the pillars to die down and then jump over them and ow again! Anyway, quick three-ray shooter, step on through and... Encounter! This is the fire demon. He's going to jump around... And he's going to basically dance around, too, at the same time. Anyway, use my peeking duck. duck. His weak point is his head. But you gotta watch out for the small little scatter shots he shoots out when he jumps. He'll do short jumps, and he'll jump over like crazy. I always called him the flame dancer for some reason. But he doesn't really dance, he just jumps around. This one has a simple boss pattern too, but you gotta watch out for the fire he shoots out when he jumps over. He'll do short jumps and he'll do uh, long jumps. But overall to it, all you do is equip the three-way shot and that's all there is to it. Now we capture him! And... Booyah! Another ghost captured! And we're done. And the boss room is now open. So I can uh, equip the uh, three-way shot. Now we gotta jump past these dang fire pillars again. That's my only problem with this stage, is the dang fire pillars and flame ghosts. Ugh. Overall, there's really not that much to the woody house, basically. You just gotta jump and move around the fires, basically. And of course, watch out for the flaming guinea pigs. Seriously. Ugh. Ow. Ow. And I'm dead. Dang it. Well, that's another life gone. Continue. Anyway, buy the pinky duck, and leave. Back to the stage. I wish I had more commentary for this stage, but there's really not that much to talk about. I think considering this game, I think the Woody House is probably my second favorite game, especially with how, in how, in how interesting it is. And the fact that you gotta use the goggles to basically get through the stage, basically. You can't make it through the stage without the infrared scope, that's all I can tell you guys. But hey, if you're up for a challenge, don't let me stop you. The one thing I do like about this stage is the designs of the ghosts, basically. From the fire dragon, to the flame demon, and that's pretty much it. Oh. I'm already on the pathway to the dang boss already. Wow. Wow, that was simple. Whoa, watch out. Let me jump up this way. Climb up this ladder. Quick the three-way shot before stepping through. And it's time to take on our next boss.
Lucky you got here. I never thought you would get this far. But this is the end of you. I'll bring you to a crisp. Here is our third boss. It is the Flame Face. This boss is called Flame Face. He'll move back and forth between the walls. he shoot out slimy little creatures at you. And he'll also shoot out little energy blasts at you. His weak point is his mouth, basically. So whenever he appears on either side of the walls, aim for his mouth. He'll flip upside down every once in a while, not like it is now. First he's right side up, then he's upside down. I don't see why it is he has to be upside down. For the longest I always thought he had a second uh, face for some reason, where you have to shoot his eye, then you have to aim for his mouth. But no, he just flips upside down. Uh, to me, I don't really care for this boss. The boss, boss is just simple, but at the same time stupid, if you want my honest opinion. Flame Face wasn't really that impressive in my honest opinion. Ow. And below is a pillar of fire. It's a pit of fire, so gotta watch out for that. Ugh. But really, there's nothing much to this boss. The arena is pretty simple when fighting against him. Aim for his eye. I dodge the slimy little things it shoots at you. Dodge the energy bolts it shoots at you. And, uh, boss should fall eventually. Dang it! And he always makes a strange noise whenever he takes damage. I don't know what's up with that. Uh -huh. Dang it! Dang it! It's always hard to get, get, get him in the mouth when he's like that. Gotta fall eventually, dang it. Uh. Slime. And there we go. And he is down. And there's the third piece of the tablet. And we're done. Flame Face really isn't all that much of a threat, nor is he difficult or all that interesting. That's my opinion. Thank you very much. This is to show my appreciation. Hey, you're welcome. Two goes down, and 6,000 money gained. Now we've got the third piece of the tablet. One more, and we'll have the whole thing. Boy, I've been so busy. I really feel done in. It's just once I'd like to have a time for a date. What are you talking about? Have a look at this. Hey, it's the PKE! Since we got the stone tablet, the energy level has gotten very high. Don't you think that the tablet has the power to, con the power to collect the power of the ghosts? Well, anyway, we've got to get all the pieces of the tablet. And with that, that is it for the Woody House. Yeah, that stage isn't really all that difficult. The only thing I gotta worry about is just, uh, the, uh, infrared scope mostly. And that's pretty much it. I think in hard mode, though, the infrared scope doesn't last that long, but I could be wrong. I'm not really sure. It's been too long since I played this game on hard mode, but I think that's going to do it. I'm going to stop by and we don't need the infrared scope anymore because none of the other stages, I think, use the infrared scope. But I'm going to stop by the uh, weapon shop and I'm going to buy another energy tank. Buy this one and that should do it. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to buy the, uh, let's see. Nah, I think that'll do it for now. But that's going to do it, I guess, for this episode of Let's Play Ghostbusters. I'll see you guys in the next episode, hopefully. I'm going to try and get back and finish up with Five Nights at Freddy's more than anything. But for now, I'm Leo Hightower. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Ghostbusters. Where we take on the final stage for the time being, the high-rise building. Until then, keep on gaming, gamers. Peace out.